Hey, I'm Bridget Dale, and I've got good news. I was not kidding about teaching you how to make a towel swan in my next video. And now we're to my next video. Welcome. People are pretty excited about this episode. Seems like people are pretty impressed that I know how to do this. Then commenter Brooklyn48 commented that she can make towels into swans, Eskimos, dogs, and elephants which made me feel kind of inadequate, but whatever, I'm still gonna make my swan. Now let me just say, if there's anyone left out there that thinks they don't need to know how to do this, you're wrong. For instance, let's say you're in a relationship and you've done everything wrong that day, and you've tried flowers and balloons and they're just not helping. It's time to make a towel swan. It's hard to stay mad when there's a towel swan in the room, you know? All right, so let's get started. Supplies you will need to make one towel swan, one towel, and no, it does not have to be white like a real swan. I'm choosing to make a teal colored swan. Step one, lay your towel, AKA feature swan, out flat. Whoa, my arms look really long when I do that. <laughs> They're like legs. Step two is grab the far away corners from you pick them up and meet them in the center line of the towel. Mm -hmm. Flatten again if needed. It's like a party hat. Step three. S <laughs> I don't know why I yelled that. Step three. Starting from the outer edges, roll inwards tightly towards the center line, like so and like so, mm -hmm. like a double burrito. It should look like this now. Step four, this is the tricky bit. Fold this thing into a Z shape. So kind of like that. Okay, maybe it wasn't that tricky. <laughs> So now you have your basic swan, but you can kind of decide how big you want his head to be and his torso, and then you pinch the corners to make it stay where you want it to stay. Towels of different sizes can be added to make a whole swan family. The next video is number 400. I'm gonna do some stuff. Some of your suggestions, I mean. See you then.